I'm a stickler for accuracy. Um, I did a film years ago that relates to your profession, um, all the presidents been, and, and that was really hard. That was really hard because there was so much fear about that. People thought, well, it's going to be a Hollywood movie. The Washington Post was scared to death. Um, mm -hmm. They thought they're going to trash our reputation. It was a very, very tricky thing, and you, you had to be accurate. You had to be sure of the facts. And I spent a lot of time uh, in and around Washington. I spent time with Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein uh, while they were writing their book. The book hadn't even come out. I, I got involved in that project before they ever wrote their book. That's another story. But, but at any rate, I, I spent a lot of time with them, and I, I demanded that we get it accurate. And I spent a lot of time with the editors in the Post. Because journalism was a, a, a different story then. It was a different construct than it is today. Facts were really important. You, you had ethics that controlled journal, journalism at that time that don't exist. Like, you, you had to get two people to go on record before you could print a story. That, that's gone. So before all those changes occurred, there was a whole lot of integrity, and it was tied to accuracy and, and facts. And I knew that, and I knew that we were going to be, I was going to be seen as a Hollywood actor, and uh, we were going to be looked at that way and therefore not trusted, so we had to go overboard to get the facts right. Uh, even down to like the set, we went in the fifth, the fifth room of the newsroom, the fifth floor newsroom there in the post. And we photographed everything, including the waste 